I just got back from the Seattle Science Foundation Endoscopic Spine Symposium. First of all, it was just awesome catching up with my fellow Jedi Masters. You can never be too old to learn something new, so here's what I got out of it. First, Dr. Christoph Hofstetter started the ESRG, Endoscopic Spine Research Group. He gave a keynote address on the importance of collecting data, and basically, we're all working together so that we can get better and one of the things that he developed is an app that the patient gets, fill out how they're doing, and then we, on the other end, put together all the information regarding their diagnosis and the exact procedure that was done and how it was done. Now you can correlate outcomes with technique, and that's how you get better. I really enjoyed the debate about uniportal endoscopic spine surgery and biportal endoscopic spine surgery. And in the end, everyone was in agreement that the future of endoscopic spine surgery is to be able to do both, which greatly decreases the amount of soft tissue trauma. And when we do endoscopic surgery, it's also under continuous irrigation. So we're constantly doing a washout and that's important too. And then there are a bunch of presentations about doing endoscopic surgery in the thoracic spine and in the cervical spine. And the benefits of endoscopic surgery are just the same in those areas of the spine as well. And then at these meetings, we get to see the latest in the technology. So I demonstrated an ultrasonic bone scalpel. And then finally, I'd like to think that we're constantly trying to improve and do better for our patients.